So guys, I just wanted to do a quick intro video just to let you know that there will be a couple of clips in each vlog um, that may seem a bit grainy and it's purely because uh, me and my missus, we made a conscious decision at the start of this vlog that we wanted to um, show his face more because we just think it's, uh, it's good for people to get to know who we are because in previous vlogs we've not shown his face as much. So in doing that, the Muppet that I am, I forgot to change the um, the low lighting feature on the selfie camera. So when I'm filming everything facing me, that's inside a casino or anything like that, it's a little bit grainy. I mean, the video quality is still decent, but it's not where I want it to be. But rather than not put the videos out, I just thought I'd uh, share that with you. Um, so there's only two, two to five clips per video. Um, that you may notice it in. I mean, you may not, but I just wanted to pre-warn you uh, that I do know about it. It's not my usual um, filming standard. And um, yeah, just wanted to let you know. And like I said, rather than not put a vlog out whatsoever, um, I thought, well, I don't wanna, um, don't wanna not put anything out and people can share my experience with me. Um, so yeah, just thought I'd let you know, guys. Let's get into the video. off at South Terminal. We parked in APH parking. I'll see if I can screenshot as booking and I'll drop it in how much it were. I think it was £209. So we've travelled down from Gatwick, haven't we? Uh, travelled down from Gatwick. We've travelled down from uh, where we live, up near Sheffield. Um, it took us about four and a half hours to be honest because it's been mega, mega busy on the way down. But we're here now. Um, I can't, I can't really say if APH was brilliant or not yet because we hadn't completed it but checking in we're seeing what's weren't it? It's only about 10 minutes to get here. Yeah, 10 minutes to get here. There's three shuttles, it drops you off right outside of South Terminal, um, which if I pan round you'll be able to see. So we're stopping at Block Hotel, so £209 it was. Uh, I did get some discount through work but that's in, that includes car parking and hotel for the night. So. Um, just thought we'd do a little bit of a check-in before we head into the terminal. Uh, we're stopping in Block Hotel tonight. Uh, we'll have a little uh, look around what room tour there is and then I think we're going to get some food at Weatherstrom's before his uh, flight tomorrow to Vegas, which I cannot wait for. So, just wanted to check in guys, catch you in a bit. So as promised, I would do you a room tour, but it's more of a spatial viewing, as it literally is what you see. So, in here, you've got a bathroom. It's really modern, but your toilet's here and your shower's here. So it's very, very all cosy, shall we say. And you've literally got a, it's a fairly big size bed. Little telly on wall. Couple of plugs there. Little um, like room temperature thing there. And then if you come across here, you've got two storage units which is uh, actually quite good considering the size of the room. You've got a bit of storage, but yeah, look, if you come around. So that is your room tour of, let me just head back out. From the 627 at the Walk Hotel. So guys, just want to check in with you again. As you've just seen, I've just done my room tour um, or my uh, box tour. So just a little bit of honours, on his, what would you call it, like a little, yeah, a little welcome card. Um, so it's a 24 or seven, so literally whenever you're flying, whenever you want to land, if you wanted it after you've come back, um, and so on and so on. Um, on the fifth floor, I think it is, we're on the sixth. So on the fifth floor, there is a free tea and coffee room, um, which is handy, because obviously again, if you're up early in the morning, you want a coffee and you don't want to have to pay for it, it's all free. Um, so as you come in from the bus stop where I did my, hello video 
um, you walk into the south terminals, it's all signposted, you can't miss it. Up a flight of stairs and right in front of you is the Block Hotel. It's perfectly located. And then once we go back down, it's literally left into departures and we're there. I do think we may as well have fast track for security because we've booked this, but I will double check and I will let you know. Um, and one other thing to mention is she, the lady on reception mentioned that the Witherspoons, you get 20% off if you show your, um, your reservation and the giraffe hotel uh, sorry giraffe restaurant you will get i think she said it's a set menu isn't it so it's a it's a it's a discounted menu for people stopping within um the hotel so yeah we've obviously you've seen the room we're literally not unpacking anything we've just got the stuff out that we need for tonight shower and things like that we're going to head down now to weatherspoons I know myself I'm going to get a pint, I should probably get a drink, and then we'll get some food. So we'll show you what we're having with the spoons, I'll show you how much it is. And um, that might be about it for um, pre-travel there. I didn't want to bore you and do the, the whole setting off from home thing. So we just thought we'd show you what information might be useful for people that are using APH parking. So uh, yeah, we'll catch you in with spoons. So we've gone for an all day breakfast myself. Well, has gone for a lasagna and a bowl of chips and a garlic bread with cheese. She says she won't eat it all, but I'll tell you what, I'll take another video after and see what happens. So I will attach the receipt just in case you don't get a view of this, but <clears throat> come to £45. Um, and from being up the north, it's a lot more expensive, as you can imagine, down here. And that is with 20% off, so we did get the 20% off. But I'll go through all that again when we go back to the room, but yeah. About to dig in now, so let's crack on. So here's the aftermath. Let's see, Grand Reveal, did she eat it all? Yeah. Tick? A little bit. A little bit left. <laughs> this is the face of a loser. Well, no, because I just wanted a little bit of that, but that's the smallest one you can order. What, 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 do you, what would you describe it as? The most expensive microwave meal I've ever bought. And what did you describe your wrap as? <laughs> it's a wrap. She said the garlic bread is a pita bread no, with a bit of cheese on. Wrap. Oh, tortilla wrap, sorry, with a bit of cheese on. And garlic. Oh, whatever she said. So, yeah. It's filled and all. We'll probably have a walk down into um, into shops in a minute just to see if we can get a luggage scale. Um, finish these drinks off. Maybe get another one, we'll see. But that was dinner at the Spoons, which is the Beehive in Gatwick. So guys, back in the room now. So as you'll have seen from some previous footage, Spoons, it were decent. Obviously, coming from Yorkshire, it's mega expensive down here, but, you know, we know what we're getting into. Um, all their brunch weren't bad. Layers of lasagna weren't bad, but it's not special. Not, not going to be anything like what we've got lined up in Vegas. So, plan of action now is probably get a shower, get sorted, have an early night, up about half past seven in the morning, literally get out of here, roll into departures. You couldn't ask for a better location, if I'm honest with you. So we fly at 11 o'clock tomorrow, and we'll get some breakfast. We haven't booked a lounge this time, because we just thought um, we didn't get as money as we last time. So, yeah, fly at 11 o'clock tomorrow, land in Vegas at 2 p.m., and literally into the room, unpack, and off we go. So we've got so much planned for this trip. Um helicopter flight, Vegas uh, Raiders Stadium tour, so that's just to mention a couple of things, so stay tuned for um, this series of vlogs, next time you'll see me will be first thing tomorrow morning, probably post security, but I will let you know if we do get a fast track, so catch you in the morning in departures at Gatwick, see you later. <laughs>
we've just gone through the check-in to drop your bags off process and because we are bronze frequent flyers with the BA, we get priority bag drop off and it saved us an absolute bunch of time. It must have been at least about an hour or so. It was busy queue in Italy. Um, we were just sitting in queue as normal and then I noticed that um, I said, I pointed out to Aaliyah that, oh god, there's priority boarding, uh, priority check-in, and I said, oh, we're bronze members. Um, so, it were priority and bronze in one queue, which were no queue, and silver and gold in another, but you'll see from photos anyway. So, we're just off to security and everything now. Um, it's a bit bit weird process how they do it here, everything's separate, but when you come out of the block hotel it's not immediately left like i said last night it's actually down a flight so you can jump in lift or upstairs or anything like that and then it must go right and you get to the bottom because we went left and we were, we were we were just wandering all over the shop weren't we but we eventually found it and if you're fine with british airways it stones here to see but yeah so we're just about to go through to departures now and then i'll see what we get when we get on the other side so catch you a bit so everyone, as you can see, we are now in duty free. Um, don't know if you can hear me over music, but I just wanted to give you a bit of an update. So, oh, that smells nice. She just read some perfume. Little Mick here. What were it? Prada. Prada. She didn't buy it. Um, so yeah, we've just got through uh, security. Brit are a free for all, and please, 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 if anyone's flying, when you see this. Make sure you, if you're coming from Gatwick, take all your stuff out of your bag because it was a 45 minute way to have your bag search. So make sure that everything is out and you need it because that would have just defeated the object of having us frequent flyer club entrance. So all in all, it's been pretty seamless. We didn't have the um, fast track security, but to be honest with you, we didn't check, but we couldn't be asked, could we? But it was no quicker, were it, by looking at it? Yeah, there were. You'd probably be able to if you pre-booked, but you couldn't buy it on the spot. Yeah, but it would just like, <coughs> there were no point. So it only took us half an hour from like leaving the hotel room to getting through. Yeah, half an hour, literally from setting foot out of our room. So, I mean, that is mainly down to having bag drop priority um, would be here. So everyone check your accounts. If you are priority, bronze, silver or gold, then get it done because at big airports like this where there's not just one British Airways flight or two British Airways flights there's several um, it, it saved us probably an hour so we've got time to kill now just going to chill uh, chill through here get some food pick up a, a couple of bits and bobs maybe and um, yeah we'll show you what we end up getting So we've just come upstairs to see what food options they've got. Um, there is a wagon spot. Yeah, there's a wagon mamas, there's a weather spoons. Um, there's also like shops like GAD and everything like that. Another little duty free, WH Smiths and all that malarkey. But we're going to see what Nando's breakfast is happening. So we'll let you know what we end up eating. So as you'll know, and it'll be continuing in this series, Bramage Beige Bites has struck already. We were looking at a Nando's breakfast, but you know, it was like 13 quid and been tight Yorkshire people we are. Weren't 100% sure if I'd like it. Bit of chicken sausage for breakfast. So we are opting for the trusty. I'm opting for the trusty. She's not really pleased about it, but you know, it is what it is. Off to the flying horse, Mr. JD Wetherspoon. There is a Starbucks next to it as well, so let's see if we can get in here. seen about pictures I had a large breakfast they didn't want mushrooms or bacon so what they did is they added about six million extra sausages so I'd end up having four sausages um, and you had traditional breakfast didn't you what did you think to that? Yeah, it was nice. 
Standard, isn't it? Yeah. It was £32.50, I think it was. Um, I mean, obviously, we've got an Amex card because obviously we do the Avios thing. So um, everything that we've managed or wanted to put on um, Avios, so far, sorry, British Airways card so far, we've managed to do. Um, so yeah, we're just chilling out in this little area, as you can see. We've got a couple of hours till flight. Um, so, well, is it a couple? Of, yeah, about an hour and a half in it till flight. Yeah. So we're just chilling out, sitting down. Um, Elia's actually booking Henry for breakfast on uh, a final day. We've got a mad itinerary. Um, I mean, while I've got you on, I might as well talk you through what we're doing. So we've got. Um, I'll show you here. We've got a little note we're all on. So when we, get, when we land today, we're going to get checked and everything like that. Um, we'll be going to Din Tai Fung for dinner, which will be wicked. Tea. Same shit, tea, tea, dinner. Monday, uh, I'm not going to tell you everything we're doing, so I want to leave some surprises in, but we've got, um, we've got a south strip uh, kind of day. So we're in or around Skyfall Lounge and Mandalay Bay. So I'll leave that one as a little teaser. Tuesday, um, we have got one of my birthday presents, which is the Raiders Stadium tour, which I can't wait for. Um, Wednesday, we've got helicopter overnight, night helicopter strip, so that should be wicked. Thursday is just a bit of a chill day, innit? We're going to go to sit, check out new brew dog. Um, we've got an e evening meal at the Vets at MGM, which should be nice. I mean, we undenied about a lot of different um, places, didn't we? I am denied about a lot of different places for a meal on final night, but I put a poll out as well in Claire and Nikki's group, but I think we ended up going for the vets just, it looks nice and it's not massively, massively expensive, because we were looking at STK, but you're talking 350 minimum, um, we've done Prime, we did Blue Ribbon, and we didn't want to go off strip this time, um, so we didn't want to try like Prime, although we could have done, we just, we just didn't bother, um, and then obviously Henry, so I have, what I will be doing as well, um, one of the nights, I think it's Monday actually, Monday afternoon, I said night, it's Monday afternoon, we'll be doing a little group pull, but it's not like a group pull like everybody else does, it's a little group pull for me and my mates, so for my mates that love Vegas that can't get to go, um, we've had an idea and we're just going to put 50 quid in, um, and just see what we win, so it's nothing like where it's a meet and greet or anything like that because that's not really me but it's just a little bit of money um, and a little bit of a mess around for me and my mates um, and Kev but I do class him as a mate so um, and yeah and we have a new challenge this trip as well and you'll see that um, as the vlogs go on it's a shot slot and ramble challenge so looking forward to that one as well so we've got an absolute action packed holiday haven't we Looking forward to it. You know, we couldn't wait to get back ever since we left last year. Um, and as it as it's the second time, we're almost like newbies again. Like many of people that watch these will know that. God, you you know, we've probably been to Vegas 20, 30 times. Some people, but we're still newbies. We've been twice. Well, we will have been twice after this time. So really can't wait. Um, in terms of budgets, so we we are very much a low roll as compared to a lot of people that go. But we do other holidays through here, um, so that's this is just one that we don't go mass, mad on. I mean, it's expensive enough as it is. We're getting across there and obviously hotels because we don't we didn't use as comps this year because as comps weren't enough basically, and it were only two or three nights at like lower end hotels. So we've paid for Bellagio again for five nights, and obviously we resolve fees, it all adds up. So obviously that's an extra 1,500 quid that we could have put into machines <coughs> or food that we're having to spend on accommodation, which a lot of people don't spend. So as budgets for this holiday, I think $425 per day. Um, so there will be obviously some gambling in that, as you'll see. I think we re did really, really well last year at Cosmo. We did a lot better than what I thought we would do. And probably what a lot better than what a lot of people do. Um, but yeah, so inclusive of that will be food, gambling and everything else. But we've got a lot of stuff pre booked this year. So yeah, looking forward to it, guys. So uh, might have a wander around shops in a little bit, kill some time, stretch my legs. But apart from that, um, you might get a little bit of footage in between. You'll um, see us on plane.
So I hope you're all looking forward to it as much as I am catching a bit, guys. So just wanted to check in before we uh, head off. We're just walking down to the gate now. So above the gates, it'll tell you how long of a walk it is. So it says it's two to six minutes. Coming out of gate 15. So we're just heading down there now. Gonna get on the plane. So we'll get some footage of what's on plane, i.e. what movies they've got, what um, food there is. I mean, I've got a sandwich from WH Smith. We went to WH Smith, we spent about 30 quid, didn't we? Oh, that's it, yeah, we're 30 quid on food. £16. Um, what you'll learn is Matthew exaggerates everything. No, I just forget, I've got so an awful memory. If he tells memory. you a number, just half it, he's probably right. Typical woman, she's always right. But yeah, it was 16 quid and then 30 quid for food. Um, and out of that 16 quid, I got a meal deal because I probably won't eat what's on there anyway. I got a snack in my pocket. You got a <clears throat> she got a, a pepper army and a coffee and it was about 8 quid. Coffee was 4 quid. Coffee was 4 quid. Coffee. Coffee. And it was about that big. No, it's a, large one. it's a large one. It's a large one, but it's that big. So yeah, just walking down to the gate now. So we will see you on the plane. Catch you in a bit, guys. Solid no from me. She's got a bread. Cheese. What's this? Crackers. And then some sort of rice that apparently smells like shit. So, uh, and a salted caramel brownie thing. So, that's what's on uh, on offer. It's a no from me. I'll be having my meal deal from WA Smiths in a minute. checking in we're just in the US if I look even more tired than I did this morning it's because I've had about 10 minutes sleep it's now bedtime in UK but afternoon here 
good flight, uh, no hold up, spent decent time, about 10 and a half hours. Um, actually got Wi-Fi and watched a bit of Ryder Cub, so that's that. So we're just waiting now to get lift up to elevators, which we're getting. And I will fill you in. So sorry I had to rush off guys, lift were just there. So yeah, as I said, uh, we got a bit of footage while we were on plane. Um, we landed at 2, it's now 20 to so 40 minutes to get through security and baggage claim not too bad and let me tell you, oh, it's not too bad baby um, one thing I will say is we come in a heat wave last year in September and it was red hot it's a near 26 degrees or so now, it's 22. lovely we are breeze 22 22 I'm being told, so it's beautiful so yes guys Loving it to be back, we're just gonna get a Luger or a lift now, so catch in a bit. So, everyone, we have checked in 15639 as you walk in. I think it's one of the remodeled ones. So as you walk in, we've got is in her sinks, as you can see. Hello, tired Matthew. Nice big cube shower. Let's zoom out a bit, as you can see, cube shower. And then as you come round here, decent sized tub, not huge, but not small. And as you walk out here, a little mirror on your way out. So as you come through here, as you can see, big double bed, might even be a queen size bed, not quite sure what it is. Uh, you've got a little alarm clock with USB in there, and at the other side, I'm presuming you've got a plug somewhere. Yeah, you have. Little chair to sit in here. Little writing desk, if you fancy writing about your winnings. Nice uh, big TV on wall, but as I was saying, it's um, definitely one of the remodeled ones. Uh, you can tell by the decor. If you go back to those vlogs from last year, this is a lot more like bright and sprightly. Um, so yeah, happy days. We're all checked in now. Um, not too bad of a view. It's not a strip or anything, but I'll be honest with you, I wouldn't want a strip view. We uh, we all work that's going off outside. So little update. It took us best part of thirty minutes to check in. It was so so busy. Uh, lady on reception were lovely um never offered us an upgrade but we didn't ask for one either so i'm uh, just going to get unpacked now um and then head down and get something to eat because we're starving we have got a reservation at nine o'clock tonight at din tai fung but we're probably just going to get something to snack on beforehand so yes guys we'll uh keep you posted and bring you along with us catch you in a bit so just a little update for you guys i'm going to show you this fridge because there's a few things that have changed so as you're coming here um you've now got obviously all this paid stuff but you've got a little personal shelf but you fit in a couple of bottles of water on it max even if that uh, and obviously don't forget everything's censored so don't pick it up and then just an update as well in here this is your safe so your safe's now in here if you open it up safe is absolutely tiny so you're gonna have to really stack things and if you've got anything that's of a decent size it won't fit in there but i mean at least we've got a safe but you know when you're in shopping in bellagio you expect a little bit more than that i would say anyway but yeah just continuing to unpack now and then we're going to head downstairs so catch us. so as promised guys i told you that i'd film um checking area and this is it look it's absolutely rammed so we've got um we've got in and out at right time i think so we're just heading now to get a little bit of a snack like i said we have got a reservation at nine o'clock tonight but we've not eaten properly for about five hours now so probably gonna head to cosmo um see what they've got upstairs so we will let you know what we get Catch you in a bit. so i just wanted to update you guys we asked her to check in um, if everything's working in regards to charging back to the room and she said yeah which is great news obviously by the time this vlogs up, it'll be people that are coming towards end of October. So, good news for you, everything's working. Um, the queue, the reason for the massive queues that you're seeing um, up at Bellagio, 
She said it's because um, mobile check-in's not working, because the app's not working so properly. Um, so that's the reason why, so they're having to check everyone in manually. So if you are checking in, I mean I can only account for Bellagio a minute, but if you are checking in, then there is going to be a bit of a queue. So yeah, as I said, just going to get some food now, so we'll see what we get. But I have to buzz into the back in Vegas. Catch you in a bit. As you can see, I went to Hattie B's um, and it cost a total of 23.84. Alia went to um, the when it focuses the Bang Bar by Mama Fuku, or however you say it, and she's got a little rap number. Um, that was $21. Um, just a note as well, we did char try to charge it back to the room at Bellagio and they said it's not working, so we've had to put it on as um, Cosmo card. But what she did say is, because I tried to give her the MGM card as well, and she did say that they're swapping over in February. So um, for anyone looking out, she said it'll be about February time to swap over. So I'm going to get um, tucked into these tenders. So catch you in a bit. So just a quick update, guys. We've just at uh, the Mambo Food Court Bang Bar, as you've seen, and I had a Hattie B's. They were really nice, weren't they? Massive yeah. portions. You could have probably probably shared what I had just for me. The both of us, couldn't we? Yeah. Um, and then we've just been to Cosmo, because we I had $25 free play. Ooh, ooh, not bad for a little roll, roll roller. So we had $25 free play and we put $50 of us earning and um, that's gone. We had a mixture of dancing drums and dragon link and... We had a few little bits that gave us a little bit of game but we are on there for about 20-25 minutes. Um, didn't have any bonuses or all like that so... Um, definitely not start of this trip as we did last week but like I said, it, we're never going to happen that way I don't think but... And see if you can see behind me. Um, here, there. This is all the uh, grandstands for the F1. Um, I'll get a, I'll get a um, little time lapse of it now, but you can really understand. Uh, if anybody's coming to Bellagio in the next few months, I would, and you want to pay for a strip view, I won't bother because it literally just blocks it. But I'll get a little pan footage in there now. <laughs> to Las Vegas they said it'll be lovely and warm they said well over here I mean I hope my camera catches it when it happens but it might not but there's a thunderstorm happening and I'll attach a picture after this video up oh, there you go look you can see it over here I'll attach a picture and I've just screenshot the local weather and it says thunderstorms for two hours lovely I mean you can probably make it out in, I don't know if you can make it out in distance uh, let's see if it can zoom in for you. Mm, no, you can't really make it out. There's um, some rain in these bits here. But yeah, it's um, it's all happening. But lucky for us, we'll be catching the, ar the tram to the area. So, winner, winner, chicken. So, we are just heading out. Uh, we're just about to catch Aria Express, which it's... Um, <laughs> It's random, I'm getting piss wet through because it is absolutely bouncing it down here in Vegas right now. Um, yeah, we're getting wet, we're in the middle of a thunderstorm. I'm gonna have to all choke because I'm getting piss wet through here. Um, yeah, we're just uh, getting Aria Express. Obviously, we didn't fancy a walk. Um, so, we're getting Aria Express over to uh, Aria, believe it or not. And uh, we're gonna have a bit of a gamble and get into Din Tai Fung, so we'll catch you in there. 
So we've just come into Aria. Um, going to spend a bit of time in here tonight. Uh, as our last trip, we literally spent no time whatsoever in here. Uh, so, like I said, we've got Din Tai Fung book, but I think before that we might um, have a bash on some machines, see if we can um, get a couple of bonuses before some lunch. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? But um, yeah, we didn't really spend any time in here last last year, did we? We literally come in just to say we've walked in, and then that were it. So we'll probably try and find the machine, and then uh, catch you guys if we get any bonuses. So uh, let's see what the night So we'll feature first one of the holiday. Let's go. Mega that feature. If we're filming this crap, it's because I've got an MGM manager stood next to me. But let's go. Hit it then. Still decent of 75 cents, can't grumble at that. 
So, uh, happy days, people. And, uh, you're not going to believe it, guys. We're back in again about five spins later. We're having a good look back on this machine. So, like I said earlier on, anything but a minute. One mansion a day, yeah. A day, yeah. Oh, oh, baby. It's all dirty to me. Ding dong, ding. Yeah, so again, fuck all, go with it. Mansion's feature. Boss, boss. Now, I'm not... I'm not holding out any up here, but I have seen some big, big bonuses with this. I mean, I know we're only betting for the rolling for the first night, but let's go. Let's see if we can drop something big. Well, it's a solid now. Come on, we can't be too defeatist. That's another one at least. And another one at least. Yeah, 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 we take this. Not too bad, all in all, but we got one. Yeah, come on then. Let's uh, if we can get a cheeky miner in one of these, that'd be nice. I mean, I'm hoping for at least 50. Yeah, uh, what are you saying? Come on then, Mr. Wolf, do your fucking worst. Come on then. $71 off 75 cent. You cannot rumble. Let's go, people. And she's just getting arsy because she hates people that want bonuses. <laughs> nice little screen that is. Let's go. So, we turned us $50 into 133 and we've just come on Autumn Moon. It's one of the only ones that's free on bank. It's only got a major of 539. Not that that matters to whoever we're winning it. But we're going to play this down to 80 and see where we go. So that one literally get us no. Um, so we cash ticket at uh, 120, I think it was. So we're going to head and try and find one of the new lightning links or um, go back on, probably back on up more puff if we can get, get back on it because that one we're doing really well. So we will uh, check it out where we get, guys. So, guys, we uh, I got on one of the new lightning links. We went for checkered flag. Obviously, in honour of uh, messing up the street with the F1, and uh, we've got the feature. So let's see what we can get. Sick. What then? Oh, wilds. Cheeky. I wonder what that is. Here it is. Seventy-four dollars. Oh, baby. Automatically doing it, and you get eight games, which is sick. Oh, baby, and we've got a cheeky little, um, what do you call it? Fucking, oh my god, hold the spin. Fucking, okay, I'll be Alzheimer's just kicking in. All right, let's see if we can get a major jackpot, baby, which is at six. Three, four. I mean, I'll also take 15 grand. Probably passport oh, just in case. So let's see. Oh, fuck off. Let's just get at least one, man. Oh, yes. I want a mini mini or a major major. I'm not being greedy, but. I can't believe we got a mansion feature on his first night on a football buff as well. Absolutely buzzed with that. Yeah, we'll take that. We'll take that on top of what we've got. I mean, it's only uh, $1 bet as well, people, so this is a rate bonus. Another $28 to add to the pot. I've got a couple of spins left as well. What? Oh, that would have been nice. What now? Oh, yeah. Another 13. One more spin. So, how much is that then? $117 off a dollar. 
It's all dirty to me. Let's go. Well, as you were seeing, guys, nice hit on that machine. One hundred and seventeen dollars off a dollar there. Uh, nice introduction to Blinding uh, Link for me. So we cashed that ticket at two hundred. Uh, just gonna have a one minute to put fifty in something else. Uh, hopefully grab a drink as well. We have been offered one drink, but we were just about to move the machine, so we had to decline it. But I'm ready for a drink right here. So yeah, let's see what we can get on up here, guys. So guys, Nate spins into this one, and we're on one of these giant ones. We're a massive love seat because Aaliyah loves me. And uh, what are we going for, Aaliyah? Do you want to go five by five or mystery? Oh, she's gone mystery. She's gone carnage. Unbelievable, Jeff. Ah, oh, we'll take it. At least we got what we got. So, alright, guys, let's see if we can get all this in one window. This is huge. Oh, it's hard, big actually. 15 free spins. This is probably the worst one that you can get. At least we got the same amount than what we would have there. We're doing some re triggers here, I think. One re trigger there, look. We could do we. Uh, do we want one of them ones where thick wheels move up and down? Because we've won a grand total of six pound sixty a minute. Or should I say six dollar sixty? <laughs> really looking forward to going to the entire funk tonight. That should be nice, that should. Um Brandon's beige bikes will be out in uh, full force. Because um, I don't eat that much. Oh, we got a little win here. Nineteen dollars to one then. I'll be having, probably having some pork covers, I would imagine, and Nelly's having all these dumpling things and everything like that, so looking forward to that. And then tomorrow we've got a, we've got like a South Street kind of day planned, don't we? So looking forward to that as well. Well, yes, guys, um, gambling's gone all right tonight, to be honest with you. Uh, we're doing all right. Especially on the floor rolling. As I mentioned earlier on, I've got that... Um, little group all that me with my friends tomorrow so that should be at least 250 maybe even five dollars a spin which is a day of oh, is that it yeah. oh cheeky 22 75 win. massive win don't spend it all so uh, after playing it now 211 i think you are we have got the flag bonus and we all know that means nothing on this game so let's hope we can drop something nice fingers crossed Say a bit warm dinner. Not sure. Seven dollars this day. But we carry on. Never mind. Come on, go on. So we cash out of the tea to our at 150, and that's going to be profit for tonight. Um, so we have got our line in Chica Benita, and she's letting him bless her. So go on, then fire away. We'll have a couple of mini, mini, minis. Our ones, they'll do. Oh, nothing, yeah, neither either. At least we're in there. I just know you can win big on these. Last one. Never mind. About $12 or something. Uh, better than a kick in notes. 15. Oh, 15. Math petitions are in corner. 16, she's wrong. I can't believe she's not even a drink yet. $16, only $6 in, so not good. A little cheek has let us back in, all low numbers, but we've got a mini, which is sitting at $10, because we're on the bay once and Dean on. So I'll go on then, Chica, fire away. Lanta, she's took a four room with once. One well, of the mini, mini, minis would be nice, wouldn't it, Leo? Take a one instead. I do like these line in lane games though, they are good, the dollar lanes. 
if anyone did catch his itinerary earlier on, we've got so much to do with this holiday as well. Aaliyah's well, got some cards that she needs to get, so hopefully get some like welcome bonuses or something like that. So a bit more gambling, I reckon, this holiday. Just to let everyone know before she spins the last one, the grand is at 15.8, just in case. Woman. Oh my sweet baby Jesus, the day your first night in Vegas. Ooh. Can you imagine if it actually was funny on camera? I know there's no there, but you never know. Come on then, bring us home the bacon. Oh, watch him. Never mind what lovely screen, even though they are all low numbers. Not too bad on the dollar. Right, 28, I can't count now. Not too bad, little coin show. So I think we've just finished all the slot action for tonight um, in Aria. We're just about to head into the entire form. Uh, before we do, I'm just gonna have a look in the shops and there's loads and loads of F1 shops. Uh, I don't know if you'll see this on anybody else's vlogs before mine go up, but there's absolutely tons of them. There's one in Bellagio, there's one in, I mean, this jacket. I'm an F1 fan, and this just is so sexual, this jacket. Um, how much are we talking? $275, not too bad. Um, little t-shirt, $100, that is quite expensive for a t-shirt. I did see one of the um, one of the t-shirts earlier on. I think these are them. They are so cool. I mean, colour maybe not, but... And these are $45, $45 for them. Um, I've got the hoodies as well. I think these were $75 when I looked in area. Um, oh, these must be free because there's no price tag. Um, but yeah, there's loads of cool merch. Um, you've got your standard uh, Formula One Las Vegas Grand Prix stuff, but then you've obviously got your team stuff. So you've got your Red Bull, Mercedes, um, and then more around here. Yeah, I just think it's so cool that they've already got it out. I mean, they'll be selling it because they'll be making a killing off it. But yeah, it's pretty wicked. Um, so yeah, just waiting for Aaliyah to uh, get out of the restroom. Or the ladies, shall we say? So we've uh, cashed out 150 quid Tito for tonight. Um, we've got a few hundred quid left for the entire fund, and whatever's left from that, we might chuck in a slot later on. But apart from that, that might be it for gambling for tonight. So next time you'll see us, we'll be in the entire fund. Some chicken fried rice uh, with no veg. Uh, I did have a fried pork chop, which was actually very tasty, about a half into. Their pork bower buns. No, like soup dumplings. Oh. I can't use chopsticks, so you just do Yeah, she can, so she just use your nails. Mm -hmm. We've got some spicy wontons. And you bite a little bit like this. I'm um, just going to show you how to do it. water scrubber and then you're supposed to add some soy sauce and vinegar a one to three ratio to this and I mean just for me that's in solid now so this is my next installment of Brammer's Beige Bites but well, Brammer loves his Beige Bites so it's all good so I'm gonna tuck it Just uh, come out at uh, Dintai Fun. What did you think? It was really nice. It 
I really enjoyed it, didn't you? Um, we're knackered, but I had um, I had so much to eat at that. Um, where did I eat earlier on? Hey, where did I eat earlier on? My anti bezies or whatever it was. Anti bees. I'm just anti bees. I'm just so stuffed from it still, but that were nice. Um, it's somewhere that I'd be better to live. There are more people that eat more stuff. Obviously, you don't eat any of the things. Or yeah. Anything. No, so. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I had, I had a, I had a massive bowl of chicken fried rice, and I could only eat half of it. And I mean, it was a huge bowl, weren't it? Um, and I, it only cost us. You'll see from receiver, it only cost us eighty nine dollars. That's including a twenty, about twenty two percent tip as well. I didn't get a drink. I just had water because. Yeah. Yeah, but still. Cheaper than for what you get in it. So yeah, really enjoyed that. Um, gonna have a quick gamble before we head to bed. Uh, maybe might need to see if he has to get some water for him and everything. So catch you in a bit, guys. So we have just um, done another ninety-five dollars, I think it were, in Up and More Puff. Had a couple of lineups, but no major. So that's us all spent up for afternoon number one's budget we're just gonna head back to uh, through crystals up to Cosmo and drop down to go to CVS to get some bits and bobs for a room and then we're gonna call it an eye because it's gonna be like what time will it be then about half past ten um, and it's like that'll be like six half past six a.m. in back in UK time so um, I don't want to say it but it's actually quite chilly in Vegas right now because it's because it's just banged it down earlier on but um yeah so not sure if i'll get any more footage tonight guys but it's been an amazing first day i loved it so we'll catch you in a bit After a long, long day, by my accounts, it's over tw about 24 hours now um, since we got up yesterday morning um, at Gatwick. It's been a crazy, crazy day. First things first, it's so good to be back in Vegas. Um, last year was first time, and as soon as we got off at Strip tonight, it was just like that first time all over again. I can't explain to you how good it were. Um, so, as you'll have seen throughout the vlog, um, we've got up to a decent amount, so we didn't get in and out of room till about four-ish. So, the food court at Cosmo were really, really nice. I ate too much, to be honest with you. Um, and so I didn't eat too much at Din Tai Fung. Um, then we did a bit of gambling, didn't have much luck at all. At the Cosmo, um, we then went to come back in the room. Then we went to Aria. Spent a bit of time in Aria because we've, although we went to Aria last year, we didn't really spend any time in it. And I have to say, it's a lovely hotel. Um, it's just that it always seems so expensive. Um, and we think Bellagio for the money. It's cheaper than generally cheaper than Aria for us and it seems a better option and certainly i mean i've i've never really seen what the pool's like at area but the pools at bellagio are really good um so yeah um we managed to i mean we went up and down we were up to 200 about 250 at one point um but like i said to you at the start of the vlog we've only got 425 dollars a day and that is for everything so eating um shopping snacking drinking gambling everything so um we've managed probably because we've come a bit later we've managed to have a real good run at it today um um for by our standards anyway we've probably put about two two fifty or so money through which when when you're saying you've got four two five and you're eating at restaurants like Din Tai Fung and 
and we've got Bavet Steakhouse as well. You know, it's it's some good going. So I'm really really chuffed that we've managed to bring hundred and fifty dollars back. So worst case worse, that money's coming home with us, and that can go towards this next trip in May, which is Florida. But anyway, enough of rambling. We are heading to bed now. Um, as you can tell, really really tired. Loved every minute. Tomorrow we're gonna get up at about eightish, hopefully, because we're getting an earlyish night tonight. Uh, gonna head down to the pool for a bit before heading to MGM Grand. I think it is for the two fun buffet with the My Vegas Rewards. So I need to claim a complimentary pass for that. Um, so thank you to Tim and Matt's Travel who mentioned that to us that it's on complimentary slips, but you can't actually chuck it on your card at the moment because it's still not working. Um, and then after that, I'll be doing my friend's group pull, but it's not a group pull. Um, not sure where to do that yet. Not sure it really makes a difference. And then we've got a crazy night tomorrow night. We've got a very busy night. So we're heading to Skyfall Lounge at five. Then we've got Michael Jackson at seven. And then we're going to be claiming us $20 off through My Vegas for um, Public House. And then probably do a bit of gambling after that. So I've got a really, really good day planned tomorrow. Um, absolutely cannot wait. First full day in Vegas, baby. Uh, one thing to note that Aria, yeah, Din Tai Fung was and did let us charge back to his room up at Bellagio. So that is working. It's just Cosmo that's not. So thank you for watching, guys. Really, really appreciate it. Still overwhelmed by all the support I get in these vlogs, um, as I am a little minion in the vlogging world. But thank you so, so much if you've watched to this point. Uh, really appreciate it. And obviously, if you've liked it, drop a thumbs up maybe subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Catch